or this is not a tutorial, it's actually like kind of like a guideline how to do this, this trick or this move in parkour. And by the way, I noticed that, uh, look, look at my eyes, can you see that? Can they see that? It's kind of a little bit red and I always thought that it's because it's hot outside, like it's summer and I got some allergy to something, but it's actually, or I think that it is because in here it's not so much like fresh air, so no oxygen, that's why. Anyway, I'm gonna go through a movement in parkour which is called wall run. A vertical wall run is like when you run up the wall like this. A horizontal is when you run like this. So today... I'm also gonna go through how people do it and then it's... They're just making it harder for themselves. I built a wall here, so I'm gonna try it on this one. And this is like, and these are like some common, not mistakes, but harder way to do a wall run. Okay, the first one is you run to the wall, you stop all your running speed, and then you kind of jump on the edge of the wall and try to climb all the way up. This is something that kids do a lot, because I, I really don't know why, but yeah, it's just so much heavier for you and for your arms because it's like small muscles which working of course legs is helping but the second one is similar but you are punching down as if like there is a trampoline on the ground which there is not another one is that you run and then you put down your one leg on the wall and you are in the same kind of like position where you have to climb up all the way uh, this is something that I have seen some people do and yeah it's not so efficient at all Next one is actually a, a move in parkour which is called cat leap but what you do when you do cat leap if you have to do a climb up also which is really heavy because you are like stopping all your speed motion and then you have to get yourself up. Okay last one you run and then you kind of like yeah you, you're doing a good run up the wall but you stop because you are thinking too much of your hand to the edge of the wall. And maybe you're wondering like what is like the right technique to do or how can I get over this wall faster. Step number one is find a wall that is like impossible to climb. It's just like straight up and then you can just focus on your wall run. Like you can work on the techniques of wall run. So this wall right here, it goes straight up like this. So there is no chance for me to, to get to the top if I don't climb on several other things. Get close to the wall, step number two, and try this. Why we're trying like closer to the wall is because this is the most important step. Try to find out which foot you're gonna put down at the last, like this is the last step. This is first step on the wall, but last step as you're running and then pressing on. First step up, but last step from here. First, last, first, last. Yeah, for me, it's the right one. So what I wanna do is, I'm gonna run and try to plant this, this, can you see this? This part of my, this part of my foot on the wall. I wanna plant this down. Uh, my foot is gonna come up to like this level. What is this called? In Swedish it's called meve, yeah. Little level here. So if I'm thinking like this to the wall, so somewhere here, I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna press up. See? And also if you have like a little bit slippery shoes, then you can do this. You'll get a better grip. Let's go again. So once you know which foot you're gonna plant on the wall, uh, try to do that from a little bit more speed. Step number, or there's no steps. Okay, forget steps, but just keep on watching and then you, I'm, I can teach you like how to do it. Uh, more efficient way. So after you do this, after you know which foot you're gonna plant on the wall, place on the wall, uh, that you can use it with a little bit of uh, force, like a little bit distance, then you can put more energy into it and in running, so run faster into the wall, and then try this. When you're getting to the wall, think that you wanna press up. So this leg is gonna be straight for me, the leg I put on the wall, right after I leave the wall. Kind of straight. 
And also I want to lean a little bit forward into the wall because when I get, because uh, I want to go up the wall and try to like touch it, give it like a high five on the highest point possible. So run, plant, try to get your legs straight, your body also straight into the wall. Try to put your hands as far up as you can. Okay, and how you can make your just wall run, vertical wall run, better is every time, this, this is the wall now and this is the, this is the floor where you're running from. So every time you run and try to get up the wall, try to do high five with the wall. Like, you're gonna try to focus on that area where you gave a high five, because next time you can think of like, what can I do better uh, if I can run a little bit faster or if I can adjust my jumping point that I jump, jump into the wall, I kind of like run into the wall, because that is also important. So you can high five the wall higher next time and higher and higher. When you do that, come back to a wall which you can actually climb up on, but it's like kind of difficult for you. So it's, yeah, it's challenging. Okay, maybe I go like this now. It's so warm in here. As you can see, the most efficient, efficient, efficient way to do it is like you run, you plant your foot right this area on the wall and then try to force yourself up and try to run, use the power of your legs all the way and at the end you want to grab the edge of the wall or like a bar or something so you so you're you're not thinking that you're running and trying to grab the edge of the wall but you are actually running and putting your force into it and when your legs cannot when your legs won't work like they used to before <laughs> this is Ed Sheeran <laughs> lyrics but when your legs are are done with the, with the vertical wall run, then you can use your arms just like to give the extra push to the last thing onto it. And that's it. Thank you. Just watch this do over and over again and then I'll see you next week with another tutorial. Bye.